Hello guys, today we will talk about multi-authentication with multiple guards in Laravel. It was a topic and a question requested a lot in your comments and finally I got the time and the information to shoot this a bit longer video about multi-auth. This is one comment example, multi-auth in Jetstream. Another example is make tutorial on multi-authentication with Jetstream and Livewire. And it's not just about Jetstream or Livewire, it's just general multi-auth with multiple tables. So for example, administrator, students and teachers. And another example is multi-auth system with Fortify specifically, so just the backend. So the question became really strong in Laravel 8 if you're using Laravel Fortify, because before in general Laravel auth, or if you're not using Fortify, I will zoom it in, in config auth, there's a configuration for multiple guards. So you can create web guard with provider users and another web guard with provider admins or teachers or whatever. This is your database table. And there are articles like this one I found on Medium, pretty old one, but this is how it looks. So users and admins are different providers. And then you build all your logic in the routes and everywhere else around those multiple guards, which would look like this one. So if guard web check or if auth guard admin check, so totally separate guards in database tables. In Laravel Fortify, it's not possible. If you go to config Fortify, there's only one guard to be used. And by default, it is web. And when some people raise that question in Fortify GitHub issue, this is a specific issue that was discussed the most. And then Taylor commented first that is a feature request, not a bug. So anyone can support and submit a pull request to that. But at that time, the issue was closed and Taylor was referencing to use config auth, so multi auth system and build your own kind of fortify like thing with multiple guards. Also, there was this article mentioned in this GitHub issue, which kind of implemented the multi-guard authentication, but in my opinion, in quite a complicated way with subdomains, with macros. So a lot of things to be considering web admin like this, and also changing Fortify service provider from configuration. So pretty complex stuff. So what should you do if you want to use Fortify or Jetstream and you want multi-authentication? That is the question. And here I want to change the question a bit, so shift the question. Do you need multi-auth with multi-guards or you need the roles in your system? So all of those examples or most of those examples are about roles. So administrators, teachers, users, customers, something like that. They are not multiple guards. They are multiple roles of user system. And here I found a Laracast forum thread with person asking the same thing. So how to make multiple guard for admins, teachers and students. So that is not my own example. And after a few comments and discussions, Bobby Bauman convinced the author. So better approach is one table and role based authorization system for different users. So for anyone asking me in the comments on YouTube or elsewhere how to implement multi guards, think about roles and permissions instead. And I think that confusion came from the fact that Laravel documentation for authentication has adding custom guards with not so practical examples of how it should be implemented and when it should be implemented. So for custom guards, one example is JWT, which is general example and then also down below there's custom user providers and the example here is Mongo provider. And I think both of those are not that typical use case scenarios. So it's not the roles, right? But the section of the documentation which should talk about the roles is authorization. So the difference between authentication and authorization is authentication is login. Authorization is what features can be accessible by which user. So authorization should talk about the roles but it mostly talks about permissions. Gates is the same thing as permissions. And we will get to them practically in this video. But I think there's a gap in the documentation that roles are not talked about and people confuse that guards should be roles, where in fact it is not the case. So now moving from theory to practice, let's implement that admins, teachers and students logic in Laravel 8 using Laravel Jetstream and Fortify but not with multi-auth, but instead with roles system. So let's get totally practical and we will customize this registration form of Laravel Jetstream. I've installed the Jetstream already locally and I've started building that project and I won't be live coding that because I will be showing different parts and live coding that will take too long, but I will explain it bit by bit. So 
When working with administrators, teachers, and students, there are three things we can customize for each of the roles. First thing is database fields for each of the role. And that is probably the main reason why people create separate database tables, because some fields are different. So that's one problem we will solve. Second problem is access to the features, so menu items and permissions to all of that. And then third thing is a different layout. So I will show you how to customize the layout so it will be different layout for administrator, for teacher and for student. And first, extra fields. As I said, probably people create extra tables because there are some fields for teachers and some fields for students, and none of those fields are needed for administrators, right? And in my opinion, if it is only a few fields like teacher's license or student license or address or birth date or something like that, there's nothing wrong in adding them to user's table, but as nullable fields. So this is how I have done it in the code. I've created a roles table, so roles model, actually in Artisan, I've made a role and then role seeder with three roles, and then a separate migration to add the fields. And in addition to role ID as a foreign key, there are nullable fields for student or for teacher with prefix. And again, in my opinion, if it is five or up to 10 fields, it's totally fine to store them in users table. Just be a bit more careful when selecting the data, not select all the fields, but select only the ones you need for that particular query to avoid too much data coming from the server. If it is more fields than that, if it's more than 10 fields, then probably it makes sense to create separate tables like students or teachers, but not instead of users, on top of users. So it will be a table students with student fields and with user ID, foreign key relationship to users. So again, every user of the system, student, teacher, admin is a user first, and then they have their own profile which is additional fields on top of authentication fields in users table. But then that way complicates things quite a lot because in every eloquent query you need to join that table. So I will not implement that in this video, but just as a alternative way to do that, it could be a separate table, but not instead of users on top of users. So we have those four new fields in migrations. We need to make them fillable. So in user PHP model, I've added those three and of course I need to add role ID as well. And now we go to register blade, which is in resources views auth register blade. It's part of Laravel Jetstream. And at the bottom of previous fields, I've added those new fields, almost copy pasting the label and the input, which is blade components in Jetstream. And I have a separate video on blade components in Jetstream. I will link that in the description below. And the full repository for this project will be on GitHub for free. So, so you can read it all and try it all later. So visual result is this. At the bottom of four fields, there are new four fields. But now let's make the form dynamic. When I'm a student, I should see these two fields. And when I'm a teacher, I should see only the qualifications field. And behind the scenes to save you time, I've implemented that. So here's how it works register a student or teacher and then that refreshes. And let me show you how I did it. I used a framework, micro framework called Alpine.js, which is a part of Laravel Jetstream. So if you go to package JSON of Jetstream, there is Alpine.js enabled by default. And Alpine.js is from the same founder, the same creator as Laravel Livewire. And I have a separate video, seven minute introduction to Alpine.js. But basically what it does is for small dynamic things on the page, like open something when something does something. So you initialize some variable or variables and then have some syntax like x show, x hide, x model and something like that. So it's similar to Vue.js bind and stuff, but without the full framework of Vue.js. So the only thing I had to change in the register blade file, in the main form, I need to initialize the data. So role ID is two by default in all of the behavior inside of that form. And then inside of that form, if we scroll to those fields, I do X model role ID on that select of teacher and student. And then in those other fields, I do X show with a condition. So if role ID two, then those fields will be visible if role ID three is teacher field. And now let's save those fields. So I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill it in. And the actual registration is happening in a file called app actions fortify create new user. This is part of Laravel fortify. And all we need to do here is to add student address equals input student address. 
and other three fields, or actually four fields. So let's duplicate that student license number, teacher qualifications. And also let's add null. I'm not sure if we need that, but just in case, null. And also we need role ID. Role ID equals input role ID. That's it, let's try it out and click register. And we are in, so no errors, it is successful. And let's see what we have in the database. So we have our new user and let's see the fields. Role ID two, student address is there, license number is there and teacher qualifications is no. That's exactly what we wanted. Now let's build different menu items for different types of users and make them visible and accessible. So I've done it behind the scenes and I will explain it to you step by step. So here you can see the lessons menu item, which is for students. And if I click that, I haven't actually created any functionality, just the URL of student lessons and accessible only for students. And similarly, if I log out and register with a teacher, so fake filler and teacher, something here, register, I have another menu item called courses with different URL, teacher courses, so prefix teacher, accessible only for teachers. And if I go to student student lessons, I get 403 forbidden. So how did I do that? First, in the terminal, I've created three separate controllers. They are all resourceful controllers, but I will implement only the index method. And in each of those controllers, we have something like this. So namespace is important, subfolder. So for more controllers, you will create them separately in one of those subfolders. And all I'm doing here is launching the index view. And also the views, I've created them manually, but resources views admin users index then student lesson index then teacher course index they all extend the same layout for now it's just they show different information then in the routes web this is the interesting part let's close the sidebar for now i've created one route group with middleware auth which means all the pages are only for logged in users and then separately three subgroups with middleware role student role teacher and role admin Prefix is for URL, so for this, student lessons, and as is for routes, for route names. So in the navigation menu blade, which is Laravel Jetstream navigation menu, the top menu, I have this. If role is one, then I add link to route admin dot users dot index. So that admin comes from this with a dot, keep in mind then users come from route resource and then index is the actual method. So I show one of those three menu items and they are protected by a middleware called role. I've created that in terminal PHP artisan make middleware check role and that check role, it's not really pretty. In real life scenario, it probably should be something less about if else statements, but some more structure, some service to check the permissions. But I want you to understand the logic. So if the role is admin and user role, logged in user role is not one, then we abort with forbidden code. And that role comes as this parameter to that function. And this parameter comes from here. So value after the role becomes the parameter value to middleware. And then that middleware should be registered in app HTTP kernel in route middleware like this. So this is the actual name of that middleware, which we call in routes web. And that's it for permissions. We have three pages, each accessible only to that role. Now this scenario is fine for smaller projects where you have only roles and a few features per role. But in more complex projects, it makes sense to have authorization with gates and policies. So I will transform one of that permissions to gates. So you can write gate as gate defined in your auth service provider. So we open auth service provider. And in the boot, we have something like this. Gate define, for example, manage users function user we don't have any post this should be auto completed by php storm and we assign the true or false value if role id equals one equals one means administrator i think this one is enough so now we define manage users and then we can change the navigation menu from here so can manage users manage users like this so if we refresh our menu now, let's refresh, that shouldn't appear. 
But if we change the courses, for example, to can can manage courses, by default it will disappear because currently we can't manage courses. But if we define the gate here in manage courses like this to role ID 3, which is a teacher, we refresh and now we see that menu item. But of course, it's not enough to just show or hide the menu items. We also need to validate that in the controller somewhere. So for example, in course controller index, we can add if gate denies manage courses, then abort 403. Like this, it can be in a controller, it can be moved to some middleware, that's your choice. It's just that gate should be not the access gate, but facade. This one should be changed like this, like this. And now if we refresh that, that still works. But if we do a typo, for example, managed courses, it will show 403. So don't forget to protect both controllers and the views. And of course, the topic is much deeper. In authorization documentation, there's a huge scrolling in the right side, you can see. So I suggest you read all of that authorization. Or you can take my course. I have a separate course on roles and permissions, practical roles and permissions in Laravel. It's one and a half hours of managing all the permissions, roles, and multi-tenancy and all of that. You can see on the left side the content of that course. And I will link that course in the description below. Also, there are packages to help you manage the permissions in a more convenient way for bigger projects. I've reviewed two of the packages really, really long time ago, three years ago, but they are still going strong and I totally recommend them. It's Laravel Permission by Spati or Bouncer by Joseph Silber. Both are good. They are doing pretty much similar things, so check their documentation and I will link them in the description below. And final thing what I want to do in this video is tackle different layouts. So for example, you want to have a different design for teacher, for student and for admin. And currently in JetStream, it all comes through layout of resources, views, layouts, app, blade. But we can copy and paste that into a different layout. So I've done exactly that. And now we have resources, views, layouts, admin blade, student blade and teacher blade. And the only difference between them is one parameter. So background gray 100 is tailwind class. And for teacher, it is background red 100. And for student, for example, it's background blue 100. And we need to create layout component classes. So in app view components, by default, it is app layout. But I did file save as and created admin layout, student layout, and teacher layout. And the only difference is that rendering is not from layouts app, but layouts teacher. And now if I register as a teacher, for example, I register, I go to my courses and the background is red because in courses index here, I'm extending X teacher layout, not X app layout anymore. So in my case, the only difference between layouts is one parameter just for demonstration. But in fact, you can totally recreate totally different blade for layout for each of the roles. Here, I want to end this video. Of course, there's much, much more you can do with roles, permissions and stuff like that. But the main goal of this video, I wanted to show you step by step how to create multi roles application in Laravel 8 in JetStream instead of multi auth with guards, as a lot of people are confused. In most cases, you don't need guards, you need roles and permissions, like in this video. If you want to receive more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and support the channel financially by doing one of two things, using our Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator or enroll in one of my courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. One of the courses is on roles and permissions, and you will have the link in the description of this video. See you guys in other videos.